Hello everyone, it's Bren from Addicted to Cricut. I just found out a new tip about editing images in Cricut Design and I am so excited. I have been doing um, editing with the slice tool. Let me show you what I mean. Let me go here to upload. And like for this little guy here, if I wanted to take out, um, my girlfriend wanted just the bubbles, okay? So I would do, and this is an okay way to do it. I'm not saying it's not because this is the way I've been doing it, is I open up a box or some other shape. I unlock it so I can move it around. And then I kind of put it over him so I can get rid of him. So while I've got this highlighted already or clicked on, I press and hold my shift key and I hit the other picture. And then I hit the slice button down here. Okay, now that's gonna get rid of all these different pieces right here. And to clean it up a little bit more, let me open up a circle. We'll put the circle right there while it's got the blue box around it or highlighted, press on the shift key, hold it, and click on the other image and slice it. So we can get rid of this stuff. It always cuts it in three and I'm not exactly sure why. And let me do one more circle. Just size it down a little bit to get rid of this. So it's got the blue box around it, I've clicked on it, hold the shift key, click the rest of the image and slice. Okay, so now we've taken that away, okay? Not too bad, that was easy, right? And now we can cut the bubbles out and it looks really good. Okay, now let me show you how I should have done it. Let's go to upload and let's upload that image again. Um, I think it's on my desktop, I saved it for her. There, right here. We always open up to this when we um, upload an image. I'm going to select complex, I always do, and continue. Now I can make him bigger by zooming up here. Okay. We all know that if we hit the background here, it's going to take the background out. And of course that's what I'm going to want because she's going to want her bubbles taken care of. But I don't want the dog at all, okay? So I can come up here and hit the erase button. I did not know there was an erase button up there. Never paid any attention. I can make my circle pretty big and I can just erase him all together. How about that? That's it. Isn't that great? And now I'm ready to just save this and go. Okay. Pretty easy, right? Now let me show you what else I figured out how to do. I'm going to open up a file here of a little girl that I found. Let's see, am I right? not in the right place. Um, I think I'm in the right place. Oh, you know what? I guess it's an SVG file. No, I didn't open it as an SVG file. Hmm. That's just cranky. I'm going to download it again and figure out where I put her. Let's put her on the desktop. That way I won't have to worry about it. Okay. Did we save it? Okay. Now let me go to my desktop and find her. Actually, you know what? If I go to quick access, I can probably find her quicker. Okay. So here's a cute little girl. I'm going to save her as complex. And I like her, but you know what? I would really like it if she had red hair because I'm a redhead and I'm kind of partial to redheads. So I need to figure out how to get this um, off of here. Let's continue really quick here and let me show you that when I pull this image up, I'm just going to save her. I'm going to click on her 
Oops, come on, baby. Click on her to insert. Get rid of my bubbles. Um, I can't ungroup her. It's not letting me ungroup her so that I can like change the color of his shirt or her hair. So I'm going to show you again how I have to up I have to upload her one more time. Um, actually, let's go to the quick access. Okay, complex. Okay, so I can cut it. But I can come down here to these advanced options, click on it, and I can intensify this color tolerance. And let's just intensify this to like around 50 or so. And I can click on the hair. And now the hair is completely gone. Okay. So then I would want to save this as the girl's body girl's body okay save that now I have to go out one more time and I have to upload her again I know it's kind of cranky but stick with me girls you're gonna love this okay I'm gonna do this complex and continue and we can do the same thing. Advanced, and let's raise it up to around 50 or so. And now I can start clicking here and getting rid of all these other body parts and her hair stays, okay? Get rid of that, get rid of the eyebrows. Now, what's also cool is I can come over here and grab this eraser. I can make it a little bit bigger. And I can start erasing these eyes instead of clicking because they weren't going away very easy. And the way I can tell whether I've got everything that I need gone, hold on, is by pressing continue. It looks pretty clean on the cut side. Okay, so now we're going to title this as girl's hair. Okay, and we're going to save it. Now I have both of them saved, and I can click on both of them, insert them, and they should match up pretty good. Sometimes you need to resize them. Okay, but they do. But I can change the hair color now. We're going to make her red. How about that? Or let's say that you decided that you liked this girl's body, but you didn't like her haircut and you wanted to give her some other kind of cut. But do you realize how simple that is and how easy that was? And then you can group all this together and cut it and it'll be great. Or not group it together and then the hair will cut by itself and then you can put it on the body. But it's all cut out really great. I am so excited about this. I can't even tell you. <laughs> so now I have to go and figure this out. I've been using Slice for a while, but now I'm going to use these editing tools that are in the upload. Okay, you guys get out there and have a happy crafting day.